Hello and welcome to My Graphics Lab. This is a new tool created with a goal to inspire students, help prep them for their careers, develop their portfolios, and stand out from the crowd in this competitive job market. And it was also developed to make your lives easier. My Graphics Lab is available for five key Adobe software applications, Photoshop, Illustrator, Dreamweaver, Flash, and InDesign. I'm in the Photoshop version of My Graphics Lab now. This particular course maps to the Photoshop classroom in a book, but other versions are also available. For example, we also have My Graphics Lab that maps to the Visual Quick Start Guide. I want to point out four key features. The first key feature is world-class content. My Graphics Lab is built upon a foundation of world-class content created by industry professionals. As a Peach Pit endeavor, it has the unique benefit of being the only online graphic design course solution chock full of top-notch, cutting-edge content from the best of the best in the industry. The Adobe Press team who brought you the Classroom in a Book series, the authors behind the beloved Visual Quick Start Guides, and the content creators behind the popular Learn by Video series. The second key feature is simple course management. We're on a mission to help you make your lives easier so you can spend less time managing courses and more time helping students. The third key feature is interactivity. Students are used to an interactive universe these days. They're on Facebook, text messaging, they've got a lot going on. My Graphics Lab is built to support interactivity and to fit into how students like to engage these days. The fourth feature is customization. You can customize My Graphics Lab to fit the needs of your course. All of the features you are about to see can simply be turned on or off depending on your class needs at any time, and you can also add or modify the presentations, add new topics, and more. When you first enter the My Graphics Lab course, there's a nice overview including topics covered. The main navigation is all down the left here. You'll find the Announcements tab, the Syllabus, Course Tools, Course Topics, the eText, and the Instructor Resources. Let's first click into the Course Topics. When you click into the course topic, you can see that each topic has a full introduction. Clear learning objectives for each topic appear on the right. And each topic comes with a presentation, relevant videos, three to four projects, hands-on files, and a quiz. Let's go to the projects area. For years, we've heard from instructors that they'd love additional projects along with the project files necessary to complete those projects. So each My Graphics Lab course offers 40 to 50 projects that break down into about three to four projects for each topic area. These are high quality creative projects that are in addition to the content in the book and are geared to build upon the techniques that are presented in the book. So in this case today, the projects you are looking at are in addition to the projects in the Photoshop classroom in a book. You can see that they are clearly labeled to make it super easy to assign them to your students. Let's look at the associated PDF instructions. As you can see, the learning objectives are clearly outlined. The grading rubric shows students exactly what criteria they're going to be asked to meet for the assignment. And again, there's a nice clear PDF like this for every project in the course. And they add to and map to the content in the book. Along with the projects, each module contains relevant videos so students can see the tools in action. In our research process for creating My Graphics Lab, we heard from instructors loud and clear that video training was highly valuable for their courses. So each My Graphics Lab course comes preloaded with up to 10 hours of high quality video tutorials from our Learn by Video series. If you're not familiar with Learn by Video, it's the only video series to map to the objectives of the Adobe New Associate Level Certification. So if you're teaching courses like Photoshop, Dreamweaver, and Flash, that's a great added benefit for your students in terms of being prepared for those exams, and it's a great way for your students to differentiate themselves when they hit the job market after they graduate. Next, let's look at presentations. For each topic, we've created a preloaded presentation that you can use off the shelf as a PowerPoint or PDF. These are customizable if you want to edit or expand on a topic. 
In fact, my graphics lab comes with the presentation templates, so if you wanted to create your own entirely, you could do that as well. Let's take a look at quizzes. Here's where you'd see an aggregate score from your class. Each topic comes with a fully loaded quiz that allows you to see where your class may need extra attention. The quizzes can be used as a pre or post test for the topic. All you really need to do is to decide when you want the student to take it. The view you are seeing now is the instructor's view. As the instructor, you can easily move questions up and down. In addition, you can easily change the point value for any question. So that's a quick example on how easy it is to customize My Graphics Lab. Here's another example of how easy it is to customize My Graphics Lab. Right now, we're in the Projects view. Let's say you want to add a link to the project. Click Modify, Manage. Now you're in the Visual Editor. Click where you want to add your link. Use the Add a Link icon. You can add content, an image, or a link. In this case, we're adding a link. Now click back to the project to show the link is live. And that's how easy it is to customize My Graphics Lab. In addition to great content, My Graphics Lab also has a great set of course tools. The first course tool is Gradebook. All the grades that are assigned by you show up in the student's gradebook so students can see their assignment and up-to-date grade status at a glance. The second course tool is email. You can send individual or group messages to students, and you can also send files. The third course tool is Chatroom and Class Live. You can easily manage discussions with the Chatroom feature where you can add special topics or set up chat rooms for individual groups. And in Class Live, you and your students can actually interact and hold class discussions remotely in a live virtual space. You can deliver interactive, real-time classes that include shared whiteboards, text messaging, and recording and playback capabilities. You can also upload files such as Microsoft PowerPoint documents and image files. You and your students can use tools to add text, comments, and shapes then refer to these objects using a pointer or highlighter. You can grant access so students can annotate the whiteboard, raise hands, and participate in instant class polling and chat. The fourth course tool is document sharing. Document sharing allows students to collaborate with each other and with you by posting a variety of different files, including assignments. The fifth tool is shared resources. This is a list of websites that students can use as resources, and as an instructor, you can also add to this list. Let's take a look at the e-text. My Graphics Lab can be adopted standalone or it can be ordered with one of our Classroom in a Book or Visual Quick Start guides. The version I'm showing you today is the My Graphics Lab paired with the Photoshop Classroom in a Book. As an instructor, you will receive an e-text reference PDF that shows you how each course topic maps to individual chapters within the e-text. As an instructor, your view of My Graphics Lab is different in the gradebook and quiz areas, and you also get access to the instructor resources. From the instructor resources, you can easily access the instructor notes, course mapping, customizable presentation templates, and the archive of the existing presentations. Now let's look at the class roster. It auto-populates based on enrollment once the students receive their individual access codes and register for the course. Each student's status can easily be marked active or inactive. You can also designate a student as a section instructor. Now let's take a look at announcements. Here you can post any updates or news for the class like a new assignment or change in the classroom schedule or syllabus. Students can also view an archive of all announcements for the class in case they miss something. Now let's look at syllabus. The syllabus is posted and remains accessible throughout the course, so students have the course overview available at all times, and you can always update it at any time.
That's the My Graphics Lab overview in a nutshell. Before we close, we'd like to go over a few key points. My Graphics Lab is available for five courses covering the five primary Adobe applications and can be paired with our world-class Classroom in a Book and Visual Quick Start Guide text. This is the pricing for My Graphics Lab. My Graphics Lab can be purchased as a standalone course, but the real value comes when you bundle it with one of our e-texts or print books. You get an even better value if you bundle it with both e-text and print. We have a common goal of ensuring that today's design students graduate to become tomorrow's leading graphic designers. Hopefully you've seen that My Graphics Lab offers a great solution to help your students design a successful future with the help of world-class content, pre-built courses with presentations, videos, quizzes, projects, and project files, all of which can be used as is or completely customized. All of this is available in an easy-to-use system that will track students' progress, help manage courses, makes grading easy, and makes life easier.